Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create and delete partitions from your hard drive without actually reinstalling Windows. Um, this uh, Windows has included this little feature um, in Vista and Windows 7, but for XP you will need um, software to actually create partitions. So, um, if you're on Vista and Windows 7, if you load up, uh, go to Start, right-click on on Computer, and go to Manage, and you'll see down the side where it's got Storage and Disk Management. Click on that, and wait for this middle bit to load, and you'll see your um, hard drives now. You can see that I've got two physical disks in my computer. One of them is split up into four, and one of them is just left as it is. As you can see, on my first one, I've got my Windows Vista, um, a partition for programs, and a Windows XP partition. Yes, I have got uh, dual boot, um, and I might do a tutorial on how to actually successfully do a dual boot. Um, soon, but just for now, I'm just going to show you how to create and delete these partitions. This is why I've been I'm doing this video because I might do a dual boot and this will save time on the next part. Um, so to simply just um, create a partition, if you I'm going to do it on this one. Um, click on it so it goes like lines go down it. Then right click and go to shrink volume and you get this space. In this little box here type how many megabytes you want. So say if I want uh, 10 gig that's 10,000 megabytes. So I click shrink and you get this unallocated space here. Right click and go new simple volume and just go through this wizard. Um, assign a drive letter um, if you really want to um, but leave it as I can change it if you want to as long as it doesn't clash with another drive letter but Windows will automatically just select a drive letter that is not in use um, or you can go to advanced options which is not which um, I don't recommend if you are if you are just solely creating a new partition click next and um, you select your file system either FAT32 or NTFS NTFS is the newest one um, default allocation unit just click on to default and then name your new partition I'm just going to put it um, tutorial and click perform a quick format then click next finish and it'll start say formatting but it'll take quickly and there we go um, you've got another partition on your hard drive and it's loaded up the yeah, partition there if I go to computer there we go that's another hard drive being added to my computer um, and yeah and to delete a partition if I just move this over here so you can see tutorial disappear. Um actually I'll move that this way. So what you have to do is right click on the partition and click delete volume. This is just a quick warning message, click on yes and you'll get unallocated space. Click on the partition that you want to extend the volume so right click on that and click extend volume click next and you'll see how you've got this here now it says maximum space available 10,000 but it's given us 10,001 that's why we can't click next so if you just delete the one and click on a zero click next click finish and there you have it and on computer our partition has now gone
So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.